Hi all, welcome to the channel. I'm back with another video on the VW Passat B8. It's a 2015 2 liter diesel model. And what I'm going to be doing today is to change the coolant or actually flush the coolant and also change the coolant reservoir the or the expansion tank. And I'll try and show you what I've done so far or why I'm changing the reservoir. So as you can see, it's kind of gone very bad and old. And I'll try and kind of have a quick peek inside as well. So as you can see, it's very dark. Um, the coolant itself is not great and the quality of the container. And also one of the main reasons to change that is even when your level is okay, because the probes of the sensor which are gone in they get a dirty coat on it so you start getting all sorts of uh, warning uh, warnings for the coolant level and all that so that's one of the reasons i'm changing so please follow along for all the steps uh, and just what i've done so far is just remove the cap remove the sensor plug here by using a screwdriver inside there just push it and also remove the uh the overflow hose there and it's just a clip you just press it and wiggle it out and we'll see you in the next step one of the things I did was to remove this hose as I showed earlier and just leave the to uh, leave the bottom hose on and just wiggle the hose out and actually get an empty container, kind of flat container here and turn the expansion tank upside down to get all the dirty fluid from the main top hole so that will save you all the dirty stuff going into the system when you're pouring fresh water or new fluid or whatever you're pouring in to clean the system so that will save the old dirty conk going in as much as it could I suppose and also in my case I'm going to be removing the bottle uh, from the, the hoses so it will save me from having big mess it will only have a small mess so I'll try and show you the next step to drain the coolant that's your radiator and that's the way forward so it's facing towards the outside of the car front bumper and also to mention to remove this uh, the splash cover just go it's basically a few torque screws you need t25 torques and t45 towards the back and just check out my other video in the oil change one the oil change video uh, i've showed uh, how to remove that so hopefully that will help and i'm saving a bit of time here so to remove one of the I actually did both sides of the radiator so that's one side the bigger hose and as you can see this car didn't have uh, any drain valve or pet cock I suppose they call it so it didn't have that so I removed uh, the main uh, hose I was actually going to do it either way because it gets most of the fluid out uh, kind of rather quicker so a uh, word of advice uh, is to just be ready to get wet with coolant either way so there's no easy way around it but there's precautions I suppose you can take so to remove this uh, as you can see it's fairly loose here so it's very kind of simple well it takes a bit of effort but it's rather simple stuff so as you can see there's a clip so it's kind of other way around for between the both sides of things the kind of locks I suppose so it kind of goes in around I'll just try to show you roughly so it goes around the hose basically and there's uh, kind of slots which it slots in so all you need to do is you don't have to fully remove it I believe but I just remove it because you need to have a bit of uh, area to kind of wiggle the hose around which you will need to do a good bit so I just moved it all together and you'll be able to slide it in uh, after because it's not too bad it just you, it can go either way so once you remove it just make sure which position it was and just try to go in the same direction once you're putting it in so once you have that removed you have to actually wiggle the hose a nice bit because it's actually more or less kind of stuck on so i had to wiggle it a nice bit it wasn't even moving so what i ended up doing is just to uh, if you look at this area here just around there so just on the edge so once you kind of wiggle a small bit out just small bit just and use a flathead screwdriver to kind of wiggle it out and just use a bit of leverage of the screwdriver to kind of wiggle it out and just be ready because once you're applying pressure or force to take it out it just comes out very uh, suddenly so it comes out very quick and just have your uh, container ready to collect all the fluid and that's that that's on this side so let me show you the other side as well it's very similar 
as you can see it's a bit smaller hose and it's actually lower hose so it's on the lower uh, it's on the right side anyway of the car and uh, it's a bit lower towards the ground rather than the bigger one which is a bit higher than this in level so it's very similar another one of them kind of clips just remove it and just make sure uh, it actually goes top down as far as remember actually this way so you have to kind of push it out uh, towards the top and pull it out so just make sure you remember which direction it was used and just go back the same way and then the same story here uh, it seems very loose here now but you actually it's actually very much stuck on it i think it goes in just certain way and out as well a certain way so you have to use something to leverage it out and it's not as bad as you would think as well actually once you just get around uh, with a flathead screwdriver so what i've done now is i've drained through all of the two hoses as much uh, as much of the fluid as i could and then the next thing i'll just quickly show you there so once i had uh, the bigger hose uh, removed uh, and the fluid had drained so i used a garden hose to uh, fill this up with water and you could see the dirty fluid coming out first and the plain water will start running out so i did that just for maybe a minute or just let's say two of these bottles and the water was clear coming out of the bigger uh, black hose on that side so that's another thing and the next step i'm going to do is i'm going to put all the hoses back and i'm going to run it with uh, distilled water that's preferred way but I suppose if you don't ha have it uh, sometimes you can't find it so you can use the tap water and why I'm doing that is to flush uh, the old dirty fluid out because as you know there will still be uh, dirty fluid on the other side of the engine or within the engine I suppose which is which only comes out after it gets up to temp and thermostat opens to let the uh, fluid circulate in the system so i'm going to fill it with water uh, and just have a rough idea as well how much you take out so uh, fill up that much and run the car with the full heater on uh, up to the max so what that will do it will the car will get up to temperature make sure just keep an eye on the temperature gauge so it doesn't go too much up because that means there's either air in your system or there's something wrong so uh, to do that uh, fill the water let the car up to get up to temp and uh, run it for a few minutes keep make sure it goes high up to temp and uh, if you want to take it out for a drive you can and just keep an eye on the gauge and so let it run some people per tend to go for a few drives and leave it there for a long bit but i'm going to be doing it a few times just to make sure so after you have that done take all the fluid out again let it cool down first do the same steps that we have done so far and let it drain and make sure some people just need one if you're doing it very regularly and i might need to do two or three and i'll try to show you and uh, actually i'll show you there the color of the fluid that i've taken out so far so i know it's not the ideal way to show but i know in the light it doesn't look too bad so if you look in the normal light so that's how the original uh, coolant was i've just kept it in a tight container just to be on the safe side and what i'll do i'll show you the coolants uh, as they go along after each cycle and that's about it so i'm going to run it with water get it up to temp and we'll see you in the next step at this stage i have flushed the system a good few times and i'm just trying to just uh, wrap up the video here but i'll just show you what i've done so far where we at now and what are the next step next steps and it should be easy enough so I'll just first of all go and try and show you the condition of the coolant or the water if it was to say now at this stage so I have done the flush I had to do about at least five times or six times a good full cycle flush because there was a lot of gunk inside and I didn't want it to leave that there it just seemed like um, they had just mixed up some coolants or something because there were so many deposits so I have tried to clean that as much as I can or could so as you can see it's only a bit of cloudy water left now uh, as there's always going to be something uh, so but I've tried my best so that's one thing uh, and next thing as I said mentioned earlier uh, I'm going to be changing the coolant bottle so I've taken the older one off and this is the newer one and uh, I'm going to actually once I use this I'm going to actually flush with this one as well 
just to make sure like what I get here unless uh, just to see if the water is bad or good uh, with water now I'm going to do a flush again on this so just to show you the steps or the things you need to do to change this very simple very straightforward as I mentioned earlier I think as well so that's your sensor plug and what I do first basically your older bottle is going to be just sitting here and there's about two or three tabs just wiggle it out gently and you should be uh, good to go that's your plug you just press on the kind of thing and just pull it out and pull out the plug then so I always take the plug out of the way first uh, or you can do it after it doesn't matter really and then that's the hose which goes on top and there's kind of a clip there I use the pliers or these kind of pliers I gonna find them better to hold the or to push the clip in take it out and wiggle the hose out it's very similar procedure for the bottom one and the hose is rather a bit hidden so there it is and you'll see the kind of marks on it and the clip as well I know it's not ideal but you get the idea it's a very similar process and what you do then is just uh, be mindful of the area with all the electronics and the coolant you're going to be getting and that's that side of things and then last but not least I suppose is the coolant what the coolant I'm using and that's from uh, VW themselves it's G12 Evo that's the recent or the very latest one they had and um, it's meant to be compatible uh, fully compatible with G13 G12 plus plus or G12 so that's the one I'm going to be using and this car is meant to take uh, according to them approximately six liters five to six so what I'm going to do is I'm going to top up with four or five or whatever it takes I have about two liters of coolant uh, in the system now but as you can see there's not much space left it's at the minimum and if I pour another liter it will just overflow so I don't I haven't ran the car yet and I just found out a little trick myself uh, usually people use some vacuum kits to fill the coolant which is the right way to do it I believe but if you don't have anything and you're using one of these bottles so let me try and show you what I did so it kind of fits very good inside the top cover so I'm just going to push it and as you can hear it sucks out a small bit of air out of the system and if I keep doing it a couple of times you have seen the level go down so it pushes the fluid in and sucks out the air so if you play with it a small bit you'll be able to get a lot of coolant in and the air out and if you see the bottom area there quickly see at least uh, more than a liter is gone inside now just by pushing a couple of times so that's something you can try to push out the air instead of trying to push the hoses down uh, at the radiator or get a proper kit for it so this is just if you have something available and also uh, to find out the reason b behind the all the gunk and stuff in the system in the cooling system I'm just going to ask the owner he's a friend of mine I'm going to just ask him to keep an eye on the quality of the coolant over time and if it gets dirty again there is some uh, underlying issue but the car runs fine there's no overheating as such the sensor is going to be okay as well so there's going to be no warnings and uh, one more thing the smaller hose to this side of the engine uh, you would have uh, let me try the hose is on now so the clip on that uh, if you remember from early on in the video the clip was going in from the top but it's actually meant to be going from the bottom side the u-clip uh, but it was just put in wrong uh, from the last person who did it but it still works it still holds the hose in place uh, but it's actually go meant to go from the bottom up so that's about it from this video I hope it has helped uh, somebody out there I am very positive it does because uh, I think it's a very simple job but it just takes time and patience so just follow the steps in reverse for putting the stuff back in and if you have any questions leave me the questions in the comments and I will try my best to answer and thanks very much for watching the video again uh, like if you actually liked it as I always say and subscribe to the channel as well for more uh, videos like these to come so thanks again and we'll see you in another video